The Internet Archive, the most popular public online archival service and home of the Wayback Machine, suffered a massive data breach several days ago that impacts an estimated 31 million users who had accounts on the site, and countless more who used the service without an account but were unable to because of outages caused by these attacks. The first DDoS attack happened in May during the long Memorial Day weekend when most of the Internet Archive's employees were likely on vacation. We know that it's a pretty common tactic for hackers to attack when there's fewer people available to respond to those security incidents, and in some parts of the world, there's even employee protection laws that make it illegal for companies to even contact employees that are on vacation about incidents like this, let alone call them back in to help put out the fire. Now, after some extensive configuration changes, those initial DDoS attacks were mostly mitigated by the end of May, but on October 9th, it was discovered that something much worse had happened to the Internet Archive. When users visited the site, they would receive a JavaScript alert that said, Have you ever felt like the Internet Archive runs on sticks and is constantly on the verge of suffering a catastrophic security breach? It just happened. See 31 million of you on HIBP. HIBP stands for Have I Been Pwned, by the way. Now, in case you don't know about that service, Have I Been Pwned is a great security utility that gathers information from various data breaches and lets you check to see if your email address and other personal information has shown up in any of those leaks. Now, if you're the kind of person who uses password managers to generate and store secure random passwords for your accounts, then you really don't have too much to worry about if your email shows up on Have I Been Pwned, because if a password was leaked alongside that email, it wouldn't give anyone access to any other accounts since all of your passwords are gonna be completely different. You might get a few phishing emails here and there, and you might have to follow up with the company whose security got breached in the first place, depending on how bad that impacted you. But if you reuse the same passwords like most people do, or a simple permutation of it with other accounts that are linked to the same email address, then you could be in for a world of hurt because even the lowliest script kitties can take leaked credentials and see what services they can get into with them, just like finding a key on the side of the road and then trying it with random locks around the neighborhood to see what you're able to open. The SQL database that was stolen from the Internet Archive and shared with Have I Been Pwned weighs in at about 6.4 gigabytes and contains users' email addresses, screen names, timestamps of when passwords were changed, bytecrypt hash passwords, and other internal Internet Archive data, including GitLab authentication tokens, which we'll talk about more in a bit. The most recent password change timestamp in the leak was September 28th, 2024. So that's probably when the database was exfiltrated from archive.org, which means that the hackers were most likely in their systems gathering data undetected for weeks before the breach was ever announced. Now, it's one thing to not know that you've been hacked until you actually see defacement on your website and post about it on Twitter, but during the disaster recovery phase, all of your credentials and all of your tokens need to be changed so that hackers can't use those credentials that they stole during the breach to get back into your systems. The Internet Archive team failed to do that. On October 20th, people started receiving messages from the Internet Archive's Zendesk email support platform, and these emails were being sent out by the hackers, meaning that they still had control over that account. And the body of these emails read, It's dispiriting to see that even after being made aware of the breach weeks ago, IA, meaning Internet Archive, has still not done the due diligence of rotating many of the API keys that were exposed in their GitLab secrets. As demonstrated by this message, this includes a Zendesk token with permissions to access 800,000 plus support tickets 
sent to info at archive.org since 2018. Whether you were trying to ask a general question or requesting the removal of your site from the Wayback Machine, your data is now in the hands of some random guy. If not me, it'd be someone else. Here's hoping that they'll get their shit together now. This is obviously very embarrassing for archive.org, but what's worse is that when you send a request to the Internet Archive to delete information that they've archived about you, they often require you to send them your personal identification so that they can verify it's really you making the takedown request. So if the hackers have access to those email attachments as well, they likely have photos of many people's passports and driver's licenses. Nobody has come out directly to claim responsibility for this breach, but the threat actors apparently revealed to Bleeping Computer how they infiltrated archive.org through an intermediary contact. It's now been confirmed that one of the Internet Archive's development servers had an exposed GitLab configuration file that had been exposed since at least December of 2022. This configuration file contained an authentication token, which allowed the hackers to download the Internet Archive's source code. Then, after they dug through the source code, the hackers found more credentials and more authentication tokens, including the credentials to Internet Archive's database management system. Those credentials allowed the hackers to download the user database, more source code, and to modify the site to create that JavaScript alert. The hackers also claim to have stolen seven terabytes of additional data from the Internet Archive, but samples from that breach haven't been shared publicly yet. Now, the big question that's been on a lot of people's mind is why was the Internet Archive hacked in the first place? If you look at posts from actual black hats on breach forums, many of them are really pissed off about this attack, and the same sentiment is being shared all over Twitter as well. You see, the Internet Archive is one of those services that people consider to be sacred ground, especially because it can be used to access data and media that would get taken down from most websites. In fact, in a lot of ways, it's very valuable for open source intelligence to both investigators and to hackers. There's a lot of speculation that the same people who have been suing the Internet Archive for copyright infringement, mostly media companies, uh, due to allowing access to the aforementioned media, were behind this hack, possibly using a hacker for hire service to try and take down the archive. But now that we know how bad the service's security really was, I honestly have to say that I think the email sent out by the hackers through the Zendesk account is deadly accurate. I mean, if your credentials have been exposed for years now, it was only a matter of time until someone hacked that site just because they could. Also, for a quick clarification, I've seen some news outlets crediting the hacktivist group SN Dark Meta with the Internet Archive data breach but they've only claimed responsibility for the DDoS attack. They've launched several similar kinds of DDoS attacks against other organizations. That's kind of what they're known for. Uh, most of the time, they target Israeli entities. But they claim that the denial of service attack that they did against the Internet Archive was just them testing out some new DDoS tools. So I leave you all with this question. Who do you think is responsible for the Internet Archive data breach? And do you think that there will be more security issues with the archive in the future? Let me know in the comments below, like and share this video to hack the algorithm, and check out my website, base.win, where you can get awesome merch and accessories for your electronics, 10% discount at checkout when paying in Monero XMR. Have a great rest of your day.